Hi everyone, this is David Campanile, owner of Campanile Law here in the great state of New Jersey. We do estate planning and probate. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about payable on trust accounts. Uh, as always, if you want to discuss estate planning, you can contact me at njestateattorney.com. So it's something that I've been seeing more and more lately um, as people uh, contact me because I get these questions about uh, payable on death accounts or uh, to give you a little history they used to be called the poor man's will or they can sometimes be referred to as a totten's trust um, but anyway basically what this means is the individual um, the person who owned the account basically named a beneficiary on it and said to their banking institute pay this person what's in this account when I die so how does this work payable on death accounts are very simple to set up Basically what you do is you go to the bank, you say, hey, I want to make the beneficiary on this account um, and I want to name this beneficiary. Here's the beneficiary's name. This costs you absolutely nothing to do. So <clears throat> what you do then is name the beneficiary the, and you control that account. You created that account, you control it, you can add to the account, you can withdraw from the account, you can invest from the account. You can do what you want. You can spend all the money in the account and leave the beneficiary absolutely nothing. That is your prerogative. Um, after you pass, the beneficiary is entitled to what has been left in the account um, by you. Now, the, the hard part becomes, well, how does the beneficiary get access to this account? How will the beneficiary know? Well, the a payable on death account passes outside of the probate process. So what that basically means is it's not brought into the estate value. Um, and what happens is usually it's the executor's job or the administrator's job to find out where all the assets were. And let's say you held your money at Bank of America. That's where your account was. And you named your, your best friend, Phil um, Smith, on the account as your beneficiary. The executor would compile, look at all your accounts, see, okay, this is a payable on death account to Phil Smith. Uh, the executor would have to notify Phil Smith that, hey, you are the beneficiary of a payable on death account at Bank of America under uh, from John Doe uh, and advise you on how to go acquire your uh, what is rightfully yours now. What the beneficiary is going to need to do to go to the bank is there's a simple form that the bank has that you'd have to fill out and you need a copy of the death certificate to show that the person's passed and then the bank will release the funds to you. Um, this is also a way that people avoid um, estate taxes depending on your state. In New Jersey right now, there is no estate tax. Um, that was waived a few years ago. Um, and what happened, uh, but the tax situation comes, will be the account will be taxed on any money or interest that's gained up until the date of the grantor's death. So there's still be some filing on the tax side, but we're mainly concerned about the beneficiary right now and how can the beneficiary go about getting their money. So as all, um, what did we learn? You could do these free ways to set up wills. I normally handle this with clients that are uh, very um, uh, cash strapped. They really can't afford a will. They can't afford a trust. Um, and this is a way to avoid intestacy and having the court really dictate who's getting what. Um, this still leaves a lot of control to you. Um, not as much as a direct will or a trust would, but it still gives you more than the state saying, okay, we've taken your three bank accounts and we're dividing it amongst three people, rather than you could say, Phil Smith gets bank account one at bank, bank from Bank of America, uh, Joan Smith gets bank account two located at Bank of America, and account three goes to uh, Davida Smith, um, from Bank of America, and they'd each get whatever was in that account, and they can't argue with who gets what. Um, that was dictated by you. As always, remember, discuss these options with, an, with your uh, state planning attorney before acting on any of it. Um, 
And if you want to talk estate, a plan, uh, estate planning with me, you can contact me at njestateattorney.com. As always, my name is David Campanile. I am the owner and managing attorney over here at Campanile Law, located in the great state of New Jersey.